diary, I feel like crying and running out of this house and never returning. I have no idea where I'm going to get $800. The landlord keeps on calling me and asking me if I have the money for rent. And just today, I received a letter in the mail saying that if I don't send in the car payment within five days, my car will get repossessed. Tomorrow, it is going to be two months since my cousin was murdered and my parents left the country. Since then, I've been the head of the household, taking care of my younger sister and myself, working my mom's job, babysitting to get extra money, cooking, cleaning, doing the laundry, and trying to keep my grades up in school. I feel so depressed. All my life, I was A and B student, and now I'm failing. I've never gotten an F in my 12 years of schooling. My teachers always told me I was an example for the rest of the students. I was always known as one of the most responsible students in my classes, and I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I haven't been attending school on a regular basis either. When I do show up, my teachers look at me like they want to lecture me about how irresponsible they think I am. The teacher's disapproving looks really hurt. I feel like they've turned on me. I try to explain to them that I'm going through really bad times, but they don't seem to care. All that matters to them is that I'm not doing their work. Most teachers don't want to be bothered with the reasons why. In my yearbook class, I volunteered to do the Freedom Writer page, and I did. I did it at home, but when I finished it, it was after midnight. Unfortunately, the day it was due, the collection agency showed up at my front door trying to get the money, and I didn't make it to school. The following day, I showed up at school, and my advisor didn't accept my yearbook page. She said it was too late, and someone else had to do it for me. These few months have been the worst of my whole life. My senior year was supposed to be the most fun of all my years, but I guess things happen for a reason. I hate to pour out all my problems to you, diary, but I have nowhere else to turn. After all, I always dreamed of going to college and being someone in life. Now I feel like I only have one alternative, dropping out of high school and getting a full-time job to help my parents with all their payments until they come back home. After my advisor rejected my yearbook page, it made me want to say, forget this. This was just enough to make me want to quit everything I was doing. At the end of the day, out of desperation, I went to talk to Ms. Gruwell and my fellow Freedom Riders. I told them I felt like dying and was going to drop out of high school. I just broke down in tears. They just hugged me and listened. They didn't judge me or put me down like others. I couldn't believe how understanding they were. They even convinced me to stay in school and offered to help me catch up on my assignments. Despite all this drama, I've decided not to give up. I'll get the money for rent somehow. I'll catch up in my classes, and I'm even going to make time to go with everyone on a college tour with Ms. Gruwell. With such a loving, extended family, I got the strength to fight for my dreams, to graduate from high school, and to go to college.